Good morning. Oh my goodness. My hair is perfect. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day. Let me get ready. I think it's okay. So this hotel includes a breakfast. You can pick whatever you want. Well, it's not that great. However, thinking about the price, it's only 4,000 Japanese yen per night, it's including the breakfast. It's pretty good. And also, we can have coffee. Well, there is the place you can eat, but the best part, you can make it to go. So actually, you can eat it in the room. And also, you can have a bottle of water. Only one per person though. So those are the foods I pick. Well, I don't eat breakfast much. So yeah, just a little sausage and egg. Also, gobo burdock. Ah, nice. Oops. Itadakimasu. Ah, oishi. Oh, and one thing I like about this hotel, usually in Japan, many business hotel, you can open the window, but this place, Actually, you can open the window so that you can have a fresh air. I like it. Whew. All right, I'm ready to go. By the way, it's a beautiful day. Loving it. Again, good morning, everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Yeah. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. So today we're heading to Tokyo by Shinkansen. Uh, it's my first time to ride on the Hakutaka. I think that's the name of the Shinkansen. I'm kind of excited, but uh, probably it will be a little bit crowded. I shouldn't eat inside. So, well, in that case, probably I will eat lunch in Tokyo station. But anyway, uh, let's see. So in front of you, that's Kanazawa Station and that's the hotel I stayed, AB Hotel. It was pretty good, but the hopefully next time when I came back to Kanazawa Station, hope I can stay that hotel. Hayat. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep walking. Well, I like that hotel though, but uh, yeah, just dreaming. <laughs> Seems like it's really quiet inside the station too. Yeah, I was thinking to get onigiri here. They have plenty different kinds of onigiri, but uh, you know, I'm just worried that the Shinkansen would be crowded. So maybe next time I should try. That's the entrance of Shinkansen at Kanazawa Station. But for my Shinkansen, we still have 40 minutes. So let's explore Kanazawa Station a little bit. Let's go. So that's the bus stop where you can go to so many Kanazawa spots. Make sure get the loop line pass if you are visiting Kanazawa. That's the easiest way and the cheapest way. The price is only 600 Japanese yen. Well, if you haven't, please check my this video so that you can see how to get to popular Kanazawa spots and the Kanazawa foods. It's a really beautiful place. Well, I was expecting to see more snow because Kanazawa is a popular place that's snowing. But it's okay. I'm planning to visit Nagano Prefecture after Tokyo and there will be plenty of snow. Yeah, so saving snow until then. By the way, this area, 
it's a really beautiful place. So if you are visiting Japan, probably you can feel Japan and you like it. There are many taxis waiting, but uh, since we have not so many travelers here, so probably they can't get the customers. Let's check the Kanazawa souvenir. Oh, look at this. This white shrimp cracker. Looks pretty good. And here, the dry shrimp again. Kanazawa is a popular place for seafood, so there are so many dry fish stuff. And also, seems like Kanazawa is popular for oden, which is the stewed fish cakes. Actually, it's really traditional Japanese food, and it's pretty good. Yep, those are the oden stuff as well. Oh, this mochi looks pretty good. It's a sweet wrapping paste mochi. Oh my goodness, look at these potato chips. So actually, it's the limited version here. They use the Japan seeds sauce. I'm not sure if the tastes are different, but the price is different, definitely. <laughs> Interesting. So those are the special miso here. This one is the pasted one. Hmm. Oh, and many different kinds of sake. Nice! And look at this golden vermikuchen. Yes, the gold hoyo is popular here. So, yeah, that's the Kanazawa stuff. And right next to this, there's the Hello Kitty manju. Oops, we only have 10 minutes now. I want to take a photo, so uh, let's go to the Shinkansen platform. All right, here we go. Yeah, that Hakutaka is the Shinkansen that I'm taking. It's from 1057. Let's go. So actually, this time, I booked the ticket online. And I could download the ticket to my Apple Watch. That was the discounted ticket. I had to book the day before, but it was cheaper, about 1,000 Japanese yen. So, yeah, that's a new saving money trip. Well, if you are the tourist traveling to Japan, JR Pass is the cheapest option. However, you know, if you don't buy the JR Pass and you are buying Shinkansen train ticket, or you live in Japan, that uh, internet option would be the cheapest option. That's recently I realized. Yeah, because it's even cheaper compared to the discounted ticket store. So I really like it. Yes, that's a new hidden tip for the Shinkansen. <laughs> anyway, so let's check the Shinkansen. I think it should be coming to this lane. I believe so. I want to take a photo of the Shinkansen, so let's go to the front. Oh, look, two Shinkansen staying here. Both space looks so cool. Actually, I just took the selfie for the Instagram, but uh, you know, <laughs> Instagram selfie always hard. Anyway, if you haven't, please check my Instagram account too. So let's ride on the Shinkansen. Let's go. So from the first to third seat, it's a non-reserved seat. And then I have booked the reserved seat, but let's check the non-reserved seat first. Let's go. So the first car, it's non-reserved seat. Seems like not so many people. Oh, seems like train is leaving. By the way, there is a trash can here and this is for the bottles and the cans. Alright, it's leaving. Let's go.
So that's the thing. Huh? Yeah. I ride the Thunderbird when I come to Kanazawa from Osaka. I realized that the Shinkansen one is much cleaner. And that's a restroom for females. There is a place to wash hands as well. And also, this is for male and female. I think when the restroom is packed. And this is for male. And uh, let's go to the car too. Oh, car two is not parked neither. Oh, seems like car three is not parked neither. And uh, here we have the restroom and place to wash. And from car four, this is the reserve seat. By the way, recently we are having some incidents in the Shinkansen so there is a security always and that's car 7 my seat here that's my seat in front there is a luggage space if you have a heavy luggage you can place it here but this size luggage you don't have to by the way you have to make a reservation if you have a heavy luggage yeah I think it costs like 1000 Japanese extra so you have to be careful So in Hakutaka, there is a power outlet over here and also over here too. How about the table? Oh, I think it's bigger. Maybe because of my seat. And it can recline by this one here. Boy, and oh yeah, it's comfy. By the way really beautiful scenery loving it wow that looks totally countryside i was born and raised in osaka so i've never lived in the countryside especially with snow so oh, they must be having a nice life well, at least slow life. Well, I realized that there are not so many customers inside the train, so probably I could eat something. <laughs> but uh, it's okay, you know. <laughs> uh, I still have this Hida no Shizuku <laughs> from my hotel. <sighs> Good water. <laughs> Maybe. So I have to make a plan for the next trip. After I go to Tokyo, I'm planning to visit Nagano, Hakuba area, which is a really beautiful snow place. I am planning to stay at Ryokan and have a nice onsen, also snowboarding too. So I'm really excited. Well, of course, I'll be vlogging too. So please look forward to it. Well, going to Hakuba from Tokyo, I think easiest way is taking a bus. Yes, that's the easiest and the cheapest way. However, I don't want to ride on the bus for a long time. So I prefer train. Let me see if I can find the way to go by train. By the way, speaking of this Shinkansen, it takes about three hours. From Osaka to Tokyo, it only takes two hours and 30. So from Kanazawa station to Tokyo station, it takes longer. Yeah, it looks closer though, but uh, yeah, I think it's going kind of like round way. So it takes three hours. So inside the Shinkansen, there is a free Wi-Fi. As long as you register your email address, you can use the free Wi-Fi really useful it's almost at Tokyo station right now so I think I should get ready Arrived to Tokyo, a three hours trip. It was long. 
fa non dappare. It's my very first time to be in the Hokuriq Shinkansen area. A bit confusing, but uh, simple enough. And uh, let me see. I guess this is the way to go out. Oh, there is a snack vending machine inside the station. <laughs> they have a special apple juice. Compared to Tokaido Shinkansen area, it's a bit smaller, that's how I think. And uh, I can get out from here. Sweet! It's really simple. Well, I was always buying the ticket at discounted ticket store, but maybe this e-ticket is more easier to use and then also the price is cheaper it's a good way i recommend it and also you know if you have downloaded the app on the apple watch you can just tap it and then you can use it so it's really simple and really handy too sweet the bento store they have many kinds of different bento oh seems like this shinkansen bento for kids is popular because it's already sold out all right so i'm starving let me see what to eat oh you know what maybe we can eat mcdonald that we couldn't eat so this is the burger i wanted to eat the last time but uh, they missed and i got the, this one so today i think we can try this samurai mark why not let's order it right down hopefully this time we can have the right one mcdonald is just over here so since we ordered mobile we can just wait here m 999 the next one all right so let's see Well, technically you can eat in the McDonald's, but uh, you know, for me, it's much easier to film outside. So that's why I try to eat outside. Well, hopefully the table here is open. Let me see. <laughs> Sweet, yes, it's open. Let's eat over there. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. I think it's exactly the same place. Okay, so let's eat. Ooh. all right here we go let's eat <laughs> well hopefully this time they gave us the correct one <laughs> let me see today it's ice cafe latte and it's the burger plus i got french fries but smaller one oh. <laughs> so i got the french fry which is a smaller one because in japan right now McDonald's has the french fry shortage so we can't order except the small one before there was a medium size and a large size but right now only we can order the smaller size well I like McDonald's french fries so I think it's better than nothing itadakimasu mm, it's good and for drink I ordered a cafe latte ah coffee gives me energy <laughs> well i know it's not really a good way to take energy but uh yeah definitely going gives me energy <laughs> come by to the coffee ah i know it's not really healthy but still i like it <laughs> Never mind, so let's eat the burger. Yes, this time they gave me a correct one. I can tell because the last time already they wrapped it with the different paper so that I could realize immediately. But this one, it says Kunse Fumayo Toripuru Bacon Nikuatsu Beef. Samurai Mark. Yes, it's a super long name in Japanese, but uh, 
yeah, basically, it's a bacon burger. <laughs> so let's eat. Oh yeah, sweet. Yes, this is the one I wanted to eat. Samurai wag with bacon. Itadakimasu. Mm. Well, I like the regular original McDonald's bacon burger, but this one has the spicy mayo and also they add the burned soy sauce based taste. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's not that healthy, but <laughs> sometimes we need a junky food. Only sometimes, yes. Only sometimes. Only sometimes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> By the way, it's really chilly in Tokyo too. Let me see the temperature. Oh, really? Right now it's 9 degree. But I don't feel like it's 9 degree though. When I was in Kanazawa, it was like 3 degrees, but it feels less cold. Maybe because of the wind? I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Mm. It's freezing. <sighs> oh wait, maybe because of this cold drink makes me feel cooler. <laughs> yeah, totally makes sense. Oh well, by the way, if you are wondering why I don't close this to the top, because there is a lavalier microphone over here so whenever I talk, basically, I have to open until here <laughs> Yes, behind the scene of YouTuber Ah, alright, now let's go to some warmer place Alright, now let me show you guys one of my favorite spot in Tokyo Station We will have the great view over there it's not that far, so it's good for after eating walk. The other side of Tokyo Station though. Let's keep walking, let's go. Oh, look at that, they have a one coin lunch bento. Huh. Looks pretty nice. <laughs> Maybe I can try it next time. Oh my goodness. Look at this soup curry. Wow, it looks good too. <laughs> well, as you see, there are so many good restaurants in Tokyo Station, so you don't have to eat McDonald's unless if you are shooting the video. Never mind. Now feels like coming back to Tokyo Station. Yes. Today, let me introduce the best spot to look down the Tokyo Station. Well, technically, there are two places you can see the good view of Tokyo Station. One would be there at Marubiru, and then the other one would be there at Kitte. So today, let me show you guys the view from the Kite. Let's go! You can just go straight and enter the Kite building. It's a really nice shopping mall. Many fancy stores are here. You can just follow the direction. Roof garden, that's the place where we're heading to, so let's go. You can either use elevator or escalator if you are not in hurry i recommend to use the escalator because you can enjoy this shopping mall view it's kind of interesting view and scary to look down we go we arrive to the roof garden Ooh, love the view from here nighttime will be more beautiful and the other place is over there but as you can see this place is higher so 
if you want to take the photo of Tokyo Station from the front, maybe you can go there. But if you just want to enjoy the night view, I think this place is good enough. You can see Tokyo Town, it's really quiet right now due to the pandemic, but uh, it will be better hopefully soon. And also, we can see the torch tower from here, but uh, in 2027, definitely, we will see the huge building over there. I'm looking forward to it. By the way, from the other side, you can see the many trains. If you love watching train, this is a perfect place to watch trains. By the way, I was over there, and uh, that's the Tokaido line going to Osaka, Kyushu, and uh, that's the Yamanote loop line. Alright, so I came back in front of Tokyo Station. In the next video, I'm planning to visit Nagano Prefecture, Hakuba, which is one of the most popular ski resort. We will see a lot of snows. Yes, I'm so excited. So please look forward to it. And big thank you to the Patreons. Because of your support, I can keep traveling. Your support is really important to me. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Arigato! Alright, so I hope you enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. See no <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Oh my goodness, this place really cold, but definitely Nagano Prefecture would be cooler. I'm really excited. Please look forward to it. Let's keep walking. Arigato. Bye-bye.